Legacy by Stephen Mangle. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How everybody doing this morning? Man, I got a chance to, this morning up around Chi-Town, I got to the list where I think it was actually out of Gary, Indiana, that they have a black talk radio station, which is something I hadn't heard of in Dallas since Soul 73. And they've been out there a long time, as far as I understand. Uh, but, in uh, Soul 73 in Dallas. But, and, and I gotta tip my hat to them because they were, they, you know, they, I don't know if other days they talking about uh, the color of peanuts and, you know, in feces or what. But today, this day, they had a subject, they were talking about um, this new Spike Lee movie coming out where they talking about Chirac, where the name of the movie is Chirac and you got, you know, the same old black folks freaking out about it. Hey, we don't need to have them talking about Chirac. We, we're not Chirac. Yes, you are. And whether you admit it or not or whether you getting shot at or not, folks is dying in Chicago and it is what it is and the presidential library ain't gonna change that. Just letting you know. Um, uh, so that's what they were talking about this morning. Chirac. Chirac. Well, I'm here to say something just a little bit different this morning. And, I, and it's, it's, it's along the same thing. And I strive very, very, very diligently to try to come up with ideas and concept, concepts that that black folks can wrap their mind around, and, I'm, and I, don't, I don't know if I'm overcomplicating it or oversimplifying it. I don't know what it is, but either way, you know, they're not kind of taking hold like I envisioned they would. But I'm gonna keep plugging at it until I find something that sticks. And the 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 the, the word for today is legacy. It's legacy. I'm going to ask black folks a question today. First off, uh, if you don't know what the definition of legacy is, I suggest you do something that not many black folks do. You know, some do. I ain't saying all do. All don't. But, you know, if you're anything like some of the people I know, you can ask them when the last time you read a book. And they'll look at you and go, whoop. Oh. I look through the operator's manual on my telephone. No, 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 no. Book, book. <clears throat> and you go find that book. It's got this word on the front of it. It's called dictionary. And look up the word legacy. And then you will have an understanding about what we should be doing and what we should be uh, understanding about our culture. Now, anybody listening to my videos know I use the word culture a lot because it's very important that we understand that that culture is different from a society. Culture is the result of a group of people. It's a collective ideology. It's a collective thought process. It's a collective utilization of the resources for the benefit and the betterment of the people within that culture. And as black people, our culture is non-existent. It's non-existent. It's, it's, it's when I look at cultures as a whole, I can break it down like this. Uh, you, you have the United States as a whole and as a culture. Then within the United States, there are subcultures, which are smaller bits of the whole. And in the United States, these 
are. We like to say races, you know, white folks, black folks, Hispanics, Asians, whatever that. But anyway, they are subcultures. And these cultures have a tendency to gravitate to each other. Hispanics with Hispanics, whites with whites, Asians with Asians, Russians with Russians, and so on and so on and so on. But because black people have not figured out how to coalesce as a culture, they're kind of wandering around in between each of these cultures in a void. And we find ourselves wanting to be a part of a culture, so therefore we pursue other cultures who not necessarily want us, at, 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 uh, would not necessarily want us to be a part of their culture. So bearing that in mind, if you're not wanted by the majority of a culture, then you cannot really and truly be a part of that culture, no matter how much you try. You know, it's, it's like, you know, blacks that want to be a part of white culture, which gave us the civil rights movement. And even after all of that suffrage and pain and, and, and history, you're still not a part of white culture. So, realistically, that was for naught. Um, you know, I hear it all the time, you know, you know, the brown, the brown people, they, uh, they, they, we suffering right along with them. No, we're not. Stop telling yourself that. You know, from what, from where I'm standing, the brown culture ain't suffering at all. As a matter of fact, when they coming up, they've been given a hand up. A uh, hand up, foot up, ladder up, elevator up. They've been given all of that. So, to solidify their place within the culture of the United States, to, to solidify their legacy as a people on this planet, it is advantageous to them to keep you out of their culture. So when it's all said and done, what do you have left as a culture? Nothing. Now, let's say a thousand years in the future, and they discover the continent of America, and they're digging around doing an archaeological dig. What? What kind of legacy do you think they're going to find about our culture? What, what would you want the first thing for them to find about our culture? This is legacy. This is something that is uh, immutable. This is linear. This is something that's going to be based off of what is, not what we would like to folks to perceive. Because they don't know us. This is a thousand years in the future. Remember that. And they digging around in this in this in this archaeological dig and the first thing they find about us is a little Wayne CD. They put that little Wayne CD in there, and oh, 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 my money, I like my nuts swinging and now oh, 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 oh. Is that what you want people in the future to think about? You and all the hard work that you do that you put forth? To, to not be that legacy or or oh he's the greatest basketball player to ever bounce a basketball and he scored a million and a half points in two years and he shot for 150 percent at the three-point line and he got a billion dollars he was a billionaire 
Where did he grow up? Oh, this is where he grew up. Oh, he was a billionaire, but the neighborhood he lived in was so poor that the city came through and uh, condemned all the homes and tore them down and built a strip mall where you can buy his tennis shoes. Legacy. What is the legacy that you think that you would want some future person to find? Wow, this is amazing. It seems like historically, according to the documents that we found about other cultures, that these people were oppressed, that they were uh, held back, that they were down and on their way out and they found the wherewithal within themselves to dig deep and find the ability to coalesce and they built their own homes, they built their own financial system, they built their own system of education, they, 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 they became a culture that changed the world. The, 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 the energy source that we use a thousand years in the future were created by these people. They designed new ways of building homes that we use a thousand years into the future. Legacy. Yeah, I know that sounds kind of far out there. But which legacy would you rather have? You change the world? Versus having Lil Wayne. You know, and I'm picking on Lil Wayne because I think he is probably one of the most destructive creatures ever birthed on this planet. Right along with Lady Gaga and all the rest of them. You know, all the rest of them. They have nothing positive to say and or do for our culture. I mean, that's real talk. That's real talk. If you are destructive to my culture, if you promote destructive attitudes and habits within my culture, you're not invited to the party. And you're going to starve to death because we're going to make sure that we don't make you a part of our legacy.